Hello everyone, it's Crafty Karen here with another Coloured Weekly Assignment Volume 2 by Margaret Miller and we're up to, well I'm up to, number 14 so we'll have a quick look through the book so far oh there are just some images that I've got there so that was one two Three, four, I still want to do something up there. Uh, five, uh, six, it's probably my least favourite that one, but it is what it is. Um, number seven, number eight, number nine. Number 10, 11, and one of the ones that I haven't done a video on, but was number 12 that I had to catch up on, was the takeaway food one. Now, I don't buy much takeaway food. Um, uh, I don't really eat very much at all, but I do like to get coffee on the go, <laughs> my takeaway coffees. So I've actually got a whole heap of these. I rip them off the cups and I keep them. And I've actually got a heap in a bag somewhere here where I'm collecting all coffee stuff. And I've actually got some pretty, pretty ones. Quite a few of these. Oh, that wasn't one getting off track now but these ones I got when I was living up in Queensland um, from a bakeries across from Coles in Ipswich but yeah she used to give me a clean cup <laughs> to take home with me because I'd tell her what I would do with them but yeah I collected quite a few so that's full of them so and I'm collecting coffee things in there because I want to make a coffee journal Anyway, so I thought I would just do the coffee and I've made a little flip up so that's where my, you know, do you ever order takeout? Well, I only order takeout, you know, do the drive through at different stores and stuff like that. So that's my takeout. Um, I think this paper here, Discover Delicious, I think that was, had macaroons. <laughs> so that's a bit of a cut there. And a cup there and a cup there so I don't know what I'm going to do in them and there's one here which I've left as a pocket and the other when I think about takeaway like if I'm sitting watching a movie or something uh, one of my snacks that I, I like to eat um, lately is the curly whirlies I used to love curly whirlies when I was a kid but they get the little packets now with the squirrelies so I just kept that. So that's my my page on the takeaway. So, and that was number 13, where I did the pockets, the little pocket up there. And today we're doing number 14. Um, I've prepped a lot for this page and found all my images, so I'm not hunting around and wasting time and um, as you can see it's getting quite chunky <laughs> so I don't know how I'm going to go as I'm getting towards the back of the book because this is leaning up quite a bit so the prompts for this week anyway get on to what I'm here for is a ribbon a plant a person in whichever form splashes or splotches sheet music and the bonus being a piece of sewing pattern so, um, I found this lady in a Chronicles of Australia um, book. Yeah, one of those type of books. And um, she's been fussy cut out for quite a while. So I thought I would use her as my um, person. 
And then um, I had this laying around in my one of my baskets and I just thought the yellow would match the top of there. So I was going to sit that behind, behind, behind her. And then I have little bits of music paper. So I was just going to throw a piece of that in there. And then, uh, so we've got the plant, we've got the person, and we've got the sheet music. And um, I had this piece of paper uh, from, I think it was a craft magazine of some nice gloves, because this was from the 50s. And I thought she's decided to wear her black gloves. So. Just thought that would be nice on this page here and then the sewn pattern um, I got from one of my pattern uh, patterns there that I've got from an op shop and I thought the skirt matched what she was wearing so I was going to tuck that in there so it's like she's uh, made that skirt and now she's wearing it out and another piece of music paper I'll just tuck there and um, I had this flower here which was from this peonies book that I fussy cut so I just thought I'd add that on here just tuck it under there and um, in her hand I was going to put this butterfly Now these were from a, a big book full of butterflies and but it had moths in it too so because I haven't got the pages and I've had these cut out for a while there could be moths <laughs> but that's okay they were the right color so I'm using them and I thought I'd put one in her hand and I thought I would get three on the page so I was just going to add a couple there. So that will be the basis for my collage. So um, we'll get these glued down. The other thing I need is the splash or the splotch. So um, I will just go and get them actually. I thought I had everything here but I haven't so um, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's hard to find the right colour ribbon for it actually, but actually, I think I've got these from Witchcraft We Do. This is yellow. I think it's too stark, but we'll see what we can do with that. And then I do have some browns. But we'll work on that in the, in the end. And then for the splotch, what was it? Splashes or splotches? Well, I thought I'd put this um, stamp on of a um, coffee stain. <coughs> because um, she went through a lot of coffee making that skirt. Okay, let's get this glue down, first of all. And uh, glue stick over here. So we'll just get some of these elements down. Put a bit of glue there. glue there just to hold oops her down make sure it's as straight as I can get it so about there I think and then I'll grab my magazine 
and we'll glue it down properly. trying to find images um, for future weeks of this so I can try and be on top of it a bit more and haven't found anything for 15 yet but I've found things for 16, 17 and 18 so I really don't want to get behind again because I really like it to be at a stage where this is finished at the end of the year when it's should be finished, I guess. I mean, there's no. Oh. Stick that down. Um, I know there's not any collage place out there saying that I have to do it by a certain time, but I really just don't want another UFO. <laughs> I've got enough in my sewing room, which, um, oh, I was in my sewing room today, um, and I think I finally get, got that set up to the way I want it. Um, I'll have to take a picture one day so I can show you all. I'm very lucky, I know. Not everyone has that luxury, but I have two rooms. This this room here, my craft, well, my journal, paper, crafting room, and I have my sewing room, which is right next door. So very lucky to have that. Uh, let's get this butterfly down. So this will be a very simple page, nothing spectacular I don't suppose, but I'm happy with the images Images that I found, and yellow is one of my favourite colours, um, well I love all colours, but um, blue is my fa all, all time favourite, I wear a lot of blue, and yellow would be my second favourite colour. I don't know why, but that is the way that is. Okay, um, let's get these elements down. And put a bit of glue on on this. That's right, it's going that way. Have that poking out there. Um, have that about there, so I'll put a bit of glue in here. As you know, my if you see my other videos, this is I like to get my um, pieces pretty much together. So that I could put it all down in one rather than try and remember where everything goes. Kind of wanted that. Yeah, do about there. this room I'm still tweaking it <laughs> um, I've still got things on the floor um, that I've still got to go through and um, I've got heaps of basket type things I've got these white baskets uh, which are like this that I keep things in and this one I keep my um, Margaret Miller journal in and my journal that I use for my um, uh, monthly challenges with Julie and Lee and uh, 
but I've got a heap of those baskets with all different images and stuff in. Um, and I'm still sorting through them because I'm trying to make it so that it's easy for things to find. But nearly there. Uh, was it? I was going to put that under there, wasn't I? Yeah, like that. Just poking out with air a bit, so if I just put a touch of glue there just to hold it while I'm oh, fiddling around with it. So it's there. Uh, I don't think that's on the page far enough, so I'm hoping it doesn't. Oh no. Try that again. Just took a layer off it. Yeah, that's a bit better. Okay. I think I did have this little corset thing too that I thought I would add on there too, but I don't know whether it's gonna. I think it's just gonna be in the way. All right, um, all right. We'll get that one glued down. The book over. I just put a little bit on there. Okay. Stuck on it. This is just one of Lily's magazines I pick up for free that I use as a lovely book. But you know, for this purpose. I do go through them and pull out if there's anything in there that I, I want, like words or anything. But apart from that, this is what I use it for. Sometimes I pull some recipes out. This side is getting quite chunky, so hard to work on. But we're sitting around up to 13, 14, and I've got a fit 52 in it. It's going to be quite thick, this book, I think. So I'll have to do a few more quite flat pages and not put so many bulky items in there. All right. Let's get a couple of these butterflies down, just to add a bit more colour to the page. And I did have another one somewhere. Where's it gone? Oh, it's on the floor. I think my sleeves are getting in the way, is it? Quite foofy, <laughs> rolled them up. All right. Oh, and put it on that. Oh. Kind of feel like one's got to go that way. Put them up there. Okay. So there's my image. Now we just gotta decide. Um we can put the stamp on. Now I did ink these before I came online to save some time and I've used the walnut stain. So I'm thinking I should use the Walnut stain. For the copy stain. Um, maybe I'll put it 
better put do this. And we'll hopefully with the bumpy page I'll get the whole image on. need to get this one piece of wood of some sort. Oh, did, could have done without the, might try and smudge them up a bit. Mm, I should have wiped around those edges first, shouldn't I? So I didn't get those lines. But anyway, there's my splotch. Um, actually, I might go over, this my copy one? <laughs> I think I need a copy stain on this one too. Just wipe the edges this time. Um, just feel like it. Seems it's. I know to my copy that I like to get when I'm out. Oh, that. Yeah, definitely needed that. <laughs> That's cool. Might put one up at the top here too. I must admit, when I do get coffee out, um, I, there are better coffees than a McCafe one. Um, there's a place, um, if I'm going out of shopping, we stop off at, um, it's like a little caravan type thing and you just drive in and order at the window and come out and it's called Black Box. So I, I do like their coffee. Um, I don't think I've seen one down here, but when I was up in Queensland, I like Zarafas. Um, yeah, so it's probably not my all-time favourite coffee. But don't you think that page needed the coffee stains? Yes. Anyway, back to the <laughs> one I'm working on. Um, so there's my splotch. Uh, we've got sheet music. We've got the sewn pattern. It's just the ribbon. What am I going to do about a ribbon? I suppose because I've used the sewn pattern, I could miss the ribbon. Let's have a look what I've got in this bag. I've got a whole box of ribbons and I've got blues and pinks and all sorts of things, but I just don't know. I just don't know. Let's see what I've got in. Got some Rick Rat. That's not class as ribbon, is it? together a bit of gross grain ribbon the only thing is I'm really not good at doing bows <laughs> I need a bow maker I don't know. I had a different hat on. That would have been good, wouldn't it? But it's not the right hat to put a ribbon on. Let's just chill. I just don't know where to put it. I think I'm going to leave the ribbon because it's just not. I just don't know how this is. Maybe I 
look at edge the page. I haven't done any of that on the edge of the pages, have I? It almost needs to be ruffled. Something ruffled. You know, like a... Yeah, it needs to be ruffled. Like a little cluster with something on it. So I might leave that and play around with um, some pleating on some ribbon and sew it and and the next time I do when I do number 15 hopefully I'll have some ribbon on there uh, when I find the right ribbon to that I'm happy with. But anyway, that's number 14. I will put Margaret Miller's um, website in the description box and her YouTube channel so you can check it out. It's not too late to join. You can join any time this year, I should imagine, and work at your own pace. All right, bye for now, and I'll see you in the next one.